traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. Well, today's going to be a fun day, and I'll tell you why. I get to put my good friend Shane Smolian in the hot box. He's in the witness box, folks, and he's got none other than Melvin Belli as the prosecuting attorney, and he's going to be interviewing Mr. Shane Smolian because Mr. Shane Smolian has told me that the chart for the Miami Hurricanes in the First, uh, the final four is just as positive as can be. I'm going to post it up here so you guys can see it. Oh, you know what? I think I can do it this way. Let's just, I don't, it's just, it's a lot of planets and stuff, but he, he knows his stuff. So I'm doing this uh, sort of little tongue in cheek, but uh, I want you to take a look at it because it's, uh, it's really an interesting uh, chart and we'll get it up here so you can see it. And uh, there it is uh, right up here. You'll be able to see uh, what it looks like, and uh, he says that they are really destined to win. I don't know whether they're going to be the favorites or not, but, you know, we heard Norm Winsky several times in the past 13 years, and I think he's been right 11 out of 13 times on some of these. So let's see how the Miami Cur Hurricanes will do. I'm not doing anything, but by golly, I'll be watching it with uh, just to see how things are going. Now, I'm going to walk through some ideas uh, of what we do here at TFNN. I want to get a couple trades up. The first one we're going to look at is the one that we looked at last Thursday, which was soybeans. And, uh, you know, we uh, said that it had a really nice 61% retracement here. We bought them at uh, 1392. That was a, you know, perfect 61% retracement. Now, it didn't stop at uh, the 50%, but it did stop right there. And that's what we were looking for them to do we were risking 10 cents on that trade came within two cents of stopping us out uh, but it has a possibility of working and let me show you the first thing you want to do if you're trying to find a bottom like that to prove whether it's a bottom first thing you want to do is to see the bottom formed I'm going to get this up here and let you folks look and see how we do this because this is what we do in our little um, daily videos that we send out when we put a trade on and as you can see here on the 15-minute chart here on soybeans, there was our buy. It was uh, right here. Uh, we went a little bit below it, and then it started to go up. And here was the first sign that there was got a positive uh, retain, uh, placement going. He had a 61% retracement. And today what we did, we rallied up to here, sold off $0.10 cents to the exact 382 of that move. So you have double 382 moves, folks. And now prices have gone off the top of this chart. And we're up about 40 cents in just two days. Now, I don't, you know, sometimes these things turn around and fail. But what we're looking at is a possibility of something really big. You didn't have to risk very much. And you know exactly where you stand right now. If you go black, before, you go back below this, you know, you're going you're gonna to end up making a, a, about $900. And if, if it keeps going up, you're going to make a lot more than that. So as Tom Hugard says, you know, go for the big wins. And that's what it possibly could be, whether it's going to be or not. I don't know, but you know what? Nobody else does either, and that's what technical analysis is all about. Now, what we're also going to do is show you another one that we were watching. This was these I talked about these on the show here last week that we're probably forming a very, very nice bottom here in the uh, April hogs. That they're coming into April first this week, so you want to be looking at the June. But look at that! Look at this perfect A, B, C, D. This can't. I mean, this to the. This is within twenty cents. Of the exact bottom. Hello, operator. I mean, that's you know, that's not a bad one. I mean, my goodness, that's a beautiful trade. If you want to be a little more creative, you could look at the days down between the AB leg and the CD leg, which we always do. But that's what led us to believe, yes, there was probably getting something getting ready to happen in the hog. So because we have April coming in, we went into the June contract, which is a little different. But let's get it up here so you folks can see what we're watching here as we're looking at these. 
I think after you see three or four or five of these things in different markets, you're going to say, duh, you know, maybe there's something to this little ABC. Ben Wall Mandelbrot sure did. You can see here, there was your first 382 retracement here after the bottom. There's your second one today. And we went off the top of this chart today, folks. We're up a nickel. We're up five, five cents a, a per pound in hogs here in just uh, uh, two days. And that tells you there's a major bottom in here right now. And what happened at this major bottom? The crop report for pigs came out a few weeks ago and it said there is no chance that pigs are ever going to rally. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Heard that game before and I don't want to play it. That's for sure. Now, uh, getting back to markets that uh, are working right now, if we uh, take a look at what we're watching here in the uh, E-mini S&P, let's get this up here. As you can see it, I wanted you to know this is where we were last week. And we were talking about this, the fact that if it closed really good on Friday, we were going to take off and run up quite a bit. I want you to notice here the red box. That was the first 61% retracement. Look at the 78% retracement right here, folks. Do you see that number at 40, 30? Now, that would be a pretty good number, one would think. But if you take a look at 40, 30, you'll be able to see here the expansion that it had last night and early this morning. It, it actually got up there twice you'll see that we went right up to that level, and uh, we are a tad uh, lower than that right now. Whether it's going to continue down or not, I don't know, but you will have to, to wait and see. We'll see where it's trading. Yeah, it's at 409 right now, so it's not really not really doing too much. So hasn't gone down, but it hasn't gone up. Uh, um, the NASDAQ is the only one that's down. The others are you know, holding up uh, relatively well. Let's move on here to uh, one other one that I want to uh, talk to you about. We've got a break coming up here pretty soon, but uh, we've come down from 430, 430 all the way down to 402, and we rallied up to 407. Uh, we're trading at 409 right now, so it's going to be interesting how to see how this one unfolds you know, for the rest of the day. But if you'll remember, uh, this thing had such a bullish connotation to it because of the fact that we had all that negative news coming out, and the market wouldn't break. And one of the greatest things in the book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, he says, if you have bad news and strong prices, do not be afraid to buy. And W.D. Gann said, you know, don't be afraid of low prices. They're there for a reason. He said, don't be afraid of high prices. They're there for a reason. And that's what we're trying to do here at uh, TFNN is to get you on the right side you know, of some of these markets, uh, because it's uh, really interesting to see how they work. I've posted now the live hogs, and I posted the soybean chart, and uh, I think I did the uh, posted uh, the S and P chart. I've already. Uh, I think I've got one more to talk to you about, but we've got a break coming up here shortly. And when we get back from this break, I'll certainly talk about it. I want to find it first, and I know I put it in here somewhere. And, and I know what it is, boys. It's the Lone Ranger, Clayton Moore. If you remember him and Jay Silverheels, his trusted comrade, Tonto. Kimo Sabi, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bond as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, you know, we talk about patterns and Fibonacci numbers here all the time. Uh, and silver is one of the better markets. I've been, you know, very, very fortunate uh, in my life to uh, be involved with silver and gold. During my time when I was at Drexel, I started there in August of 1976, and gold had been trading live since about 1972. And uh, when I got there, I didn't have any customers or anything. They just knew that I had made some money uh, trading at Conti Commodities and uh, basically, you know, put the hurt on uh, uh, Willard Sparks' as, uh, I can't remember, Cook Grain, because I was on the opposite side of that soybean move because I – had some technical stuff that said it was going to go higher, and it did. And he was very, very bearish all the way, and he wouldn't change his mind. He would go a dollar higher, dollar higher, dollar higher. He wouldn't change his mind. And then when he finally got it out, then, you know, the market collapsed. But his timing was off by eight months. <laughs> I've been there before, so that's not a lot of fun. But uh, all this stuff is based on the technical analysis. But when I started at Drexel, you know, I, I didn't have any accounts at all other than my personal account. And uh, when I walked in the door, they said, well, here's 30 accounts that you're going to be trading. And they, I had, you know, all signed and everything for – and they said, look, as long as you don't lose 20 percent, you know, keep trading. He said, you lose 20 percent, then that's it. So I bought some silver and I bought some gold and, you know, did pretty good and did other things too. But it was a really good run. But the type of things that you're looking at here at the silver market – stop and think, folks. This is a metal that's been around – since this planet's been here, but look at the, look at the technical picture of this. Your first retracement here is is at exactly 50 percent. Your second retracement is exactly 61 percent, and your third retracement expansion. I'm very sorry. Expansion comes in exactly to the within two pennies. Went two pennies above the 786. Okay, and that's where it stopped. Okay, now we are saying that you know we didn't have much of a correction here. We didn't have much of a correction here, so we were expecting to see the market correct down into this area to see if it's going to you know, make that particular area. But at this particular time, selling at that level, your risk was only just a few pennies. Now, on these previous segments that I worked here, I've talked to you about hogs. I've talked to you about uh, soybeans, and I talked to you about the S&P. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look here at – just get this up here. We're going to see what happened 
you know, to silver after that. Okay, uh, you, you can see the high. Well, you can't see it yet, but you will soon. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Let's get up here and then we'll see where we are. Okay. Okay, here's the high that we made back here. This was the exact 786 right here. You can see how the market goes up in waves and then it goes up to this level here. It makes a huge A, B, C, D move. But there's your 78% level right there. You see it stayed there for uh, almost, uh, let's see, that's a, uh, it stayed there for about 10 minutes. And then the market broke down here. And then over the weekend, over the weekend, I said, sell the 382 rally on silver if it opens higher. And that's what I said. And you can see on the video, uh, that's where I pointed out to sell it right there. That was at, uh, I think it was 2350, uh, let's say 2340, 2345, somewhere there. Then it came down to this level here. It completed the ABCD. See that ABCD pattern that's right there? Perfect. And look at the next rally. Exactly 382 off of the high right there. I mean, this is, uh, this is stuff that's, you know, technical systems are, are made for. If you don't think these algorithmic traders that are out there don't know these numbers, you're, and I, you know, I don't think silver's involved in algorithmic trading at all, but currencies certainly are. So those are the things that I'm, that I tried to look at to tell me what your risk are, because, you know, if you sell at the 382 and you go above the 50%, something's probably wrong. And that's what your, you know, pattern failures are for. They're telling you that, yeah, this one failed. No big deal. They, a lot of them in this, a lot of them do this, folks. You know, look at, look at the golfers that are out there for heaven's sakes. You know, a guy shoots a, you know, 63 one day and the next day he can't even find the, his, the, the bags uh, with his clubs in them. So I've never had that happen before because I'm a master golfer, folks. I, those of you that have ever played golf, golf with me know that I only have two handicaps and that is driving and putting and a little bit of the mental game. But the only hole that ever gives me trouble is that doggone one with the clown and the windmill. I can never beat that hole. It's always uh, really tough. Now, let's take a look here with the, uh, uh, what do you call these things, uh, blockchains or uh, cryptocurrencies. But let's look at this one here. This is Coinbase. I want to get it up here. There's a real battle going on, folks, and I think that the government's going to win because I don't think they're going to let the people – control their own money supply. Anyway, this is what Coinbase has did. You can see here we've been selling off. Look at the first retracement here, folks. 382, boom, down again. What did it hit today? 382, boom, down again. But if you go and take a look at the Big Daddy Rabbit, which will be the, uh, I know I've got it in here somewhere. At least I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. Oh, dear, I guess I don't. Uh-oh, this is not good. Nope. I can't find it. Son of a gun. Not good. Ah, uh, boy, I thought that I had... I, I, I've shown it several times, but it's basically... Maybe it's... Uh, I, it's couldn't be in this one, I don't think, would it? No, no, no. Maybe, oh, here we are. Here it is. It's here. There it is. Okay. Okay, here's the Bitcoin on a long-term basis, folks. If you, if you like these numbers, and believe me, they're, they're any market that's actively traded and liquid, you can go through and take a look at it. I'm going to be doing um, another show right after this one, and we're going to look at some of these banking stocks because that's the key to this rally that we have going on. Okay, now you can see here we have this move right up here, 382 retracement. You make a, Look at the ABCD. The big ABCD doesn't quite make it. It misses it by a little bit. There you have the first first serious ABCs right there. See that? That's from there to there to there, and that's exactly what you're looking at. So what we do is, what we do is, we take a look at this on a little bit <clears throat> longer time frame, so that you can see what this pattern looks like when you look at it on a very very long time frame. And as you get it up and take a look at it. Bada bing, bada boom, there you are. You're coming in right down to this level here. First 382, second 382, that's at 28.4. It's been up there for four or five days. I don't know what it's trading at now, but uh, that's one that we're paying a co close attention to. So I hope these things are helpful to you. Uh, they're easy to find. If you, uh, if you need, uh, I, I, we have the book called Trade What You See, Not What You Think, and that's the most important part of this, and I need to cover that. Uh, when we come back from the break, because 
that to me is the most important thing that we have going on here with the trading part is the fact that it's not what you see, it's what you think, and not what you think, it's what you see. And uh, I think it's important to, to talk about that because, you know, if you, you have a preconceived, a, a, uh, what do you call, a preconceived idea where you think you're going to go and things are not doing that, you have to rely on something. And that's what charts are. They're a roadmap. If there's more buyers, prices are going up. More sellers, prices are going down. Nobody is more bearish than me. And yet, you know, I came in last Thursday saying, boy, if this thing holds, look out and look, you can see what's happened. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. And just uh, for a little kicks and giggles, we got something happening right now that looks pretty interesting. And if you'll take a look, this is the uh, last five days of the euro uh, this is where the dollar index made its bottom right up here at the top we've had a big break and the euro has now reached the 382 retracement up here at 108 your risk here is about 40 pips or 400 dollars and if that's an abcd move that is a big money maker the trend on this on the long term daily of course is down so you got that working in your favor plus you're sitting right there at that number it's hit it about a half a dozen times already, still hasn't gone above it. So about 30 pips above it, you'd be wrong on this. So the risk on that would be about $300. But that's one that we're paying close attention to today. You know, the others that we've had, which is the hogs, the soybeans, uh, and also the gold, gold, the mainly silver hogs, 
and soybeans were the three trades uh, that we had on today. We had a bond trade on it that did really well. Uh, we were stopped out of it uh, when it went below the 78% level, but still made really nice profits in bonds over the past few days because we've been very, very fortunate to be on the right side of the market. And it's been, you know, it's been because we we look at price charts. You know, that's a, that's a thing that tells us whether we're going to be, you know, uh, buying or selling. You know, that's the main thing. Look at this. You can see here today. I'll just put this chart up here on the bonds, and I still think this is still a valid. Uh, we're going to be watching it when it pulls back, but this is a, a valid uh, A B C D here, as you can see here. We went all the way up uh, to the 50% level, stopped, okay, and our original buy on the bonds was here at the 129 level, and then we sold it here, uh, and then we bought it back right here on that 382 retracement right there. And then when the market went up, what we did is we lowered our stop. Let's try it again, raised our stop. So that if it goes below this, that's telling us that we're probably going to come down into this area and eventually get up into the area of 138, 139. Uh, I posted that chart of the uh, Coinbase showing that there's going to be some trouble probably in the cryptocurrencies, but it's probably going to be some trouble in some other things too. And just to give you an example here, we have a big rally going on one of the major banks today, folks. Uh, I'll show you a really bullish chart here, and uh, you'll take and take a look at it and uh, see what we're watching. Uh, this happens to be uh, Citibank uh, going back over uh, the last couple of months. And as you can see here, this thing uh, has really, uh, just, just for the last month, look what's happened, folks. And this little bounce that we're having, we've had these before. We had one right here, we had one right there, one right there, and this is the fourth one. And each time they tell us that, yep, the banking crisis is over. Well, I think they may be a little precocious on what they're trying to tell us here because uh, it's a really, really tough environment out there for the banks. They're basically between a rock and a hard place, and uh, the depositors are now putting their money into T-bills and stuff like that. So. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that that could happen, and that's what we're you know, paying really close attention to. Okay, let's move up here and take a quick look. Oh, I did want to – someone asked a question to take a look at that, the S&P chart that we posted showing the, the triple bottom, uh, the 135 pattern. I'll show you that. There's your 135 pattern. When you have higher – there's one, there's three, there's five. This would be like a three drive to a top, drive one, drive two, drive three. They're different patterns because when you with the one, three, five pattern, you're trading with the trend. With a three drive to a top pattern, you're trying to pick a top, but you're doing it two ways. You're using price, and then you're also using the time sequence of how many days, how many hours, how many bars did it get up to that top. And then you'll that's what your that's what your really goal is is to do, folks. Let me talk to you just a tiny bit about the psychology of this business, and it's really difficult for new people. It's a difficult for me. It's you know trading is a journey. It's not a destination. You learn something every day, especially about yourself. But what you got to realize is that when you're looking at that chart, you should not. Try to think of why it's doing what it's doing. I know it's really hard to do that, but the main thing is it's doing it, and you just don't know all the factors behind it. There may be good factors or bad factors, but you've got to think of what you're doing. You know, it's it's very very important. It's not what you think, it's how you think. We got that from uh, Gary. Leslie Jufless's husband, we were given a seminar with Mark uh, up there in Seattle, oh, many, 25 years ago, and uh, he came uh, came out and he, he was in the audience and he raised his hand he, and he said, it's not what you think, it's how you think, and that's true. How you think is uh, is so very, very important. you got to come in and try to disassociate yourself from the news, like, you know, they're telling us everything's wonderful about the banking system. And yet, by golly, you know, the darn thing is not uh, – you know, it's going up today pretty good, but it's not a uh, – what we call a, a you know, runaway to the upside. We've got the Dow up uh, 250 points. NASDAQ is down 80, and Russell's up 20, and the S&P is up about 15, but still 18 points off the high. So there's not, you know, a runaway market by any stretch of uh, the imagination here. Okay, let's move on here, and we were going to uh, do one other thing here that I want to be able to do. Hold on just a second, and uh, we'll be right back. Hold on, I've got to pull it up here, 
if I can find it, and that is the NASDAQ. And I just wanted to bring to your fact, bring to your uh, to your attention here, uh, the NASDAQ because it still has not violated. This is from Sunday, folks, and so this is uh, started a little bit higher in the NASDAQ. Uh, we did not take out the previous day's high by more than just a little bit, and now we're trading down back below that 382 retracement one more time. So these are these are important facts. This has been the market that uh, had been the leader and led us all the way down. You know, it topped a month before the Dow Jones did, and you know, these are the major ten stocks in the, the Nasdaq. So those are things that we want to be uh, paying very very close attention to. But uh, I'm going to get back to that middle part because when I worked with Mark Douglas. And he had so many of these traders, some of them very, very famous, come here to visit us. And, uh, you know, it was amazing how much time they spent with, uh, you know, uh, the mental part. Paul Tudor Jones has on retainer Tony Robbins. He gets a million dollars a year, but he's got to be on call. If, if uh, a Tudor calls him, uh, Tony's on call. So it's uh, he must know what he's doing because Tony Robbins, I think, does one of the best things for mental stuff that I've ever seen with his neuro-linguistic programming and his power power audio tapes. I think there's 18 CDs, eight, 18 CDs in it. I've got it on a little, here, I've got it right here. I keep, I listen to it all the time. Where did I put it? Oh, it's in my pocket. I, I played poker this weekend in a poker tournament, and I kept it in my jacket here. So let me get this out here. But I had a really good run. I started out really bad and then ended up pretty good for the NCAA tournament uh, for poker that we have here at the Desert Diamond. And I've got it here. The trouble is I'm going to have to wait till after the break, and I'll show you uh, show you what I have, and you'll get a, a pretty good idea of uh, what we're watching here. So let's uh, hold on one second. Uh, <laughs> Shane wants to be on retainer, too. I'll tell you what, Shane, boy, if the, if the, if the Canes win, if the, Hur the Miami Hurricanes win, you get a retainer. You get to be on retainer. You get a uh, a free uh, set of chocolate covered donuts at once a month. All three donuts coming to you all at the same time. But Tony Robbins does it a tremendous amount. I I knew him when he was back. It was 1983 when he was just a, 83 or 84 down there in the marina in the L.A. And you know this kid was giving lectures and stuff for free, ten bucks, whatever it was. And it caught on, and uh, it, uh, he's, he knows his stuff. All right, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, this is the little um, apple. Uh, I don't know what they call this thing. It's uh, It's got all kinds of stuff. It, got, it has all my Tony Robbins, all 28 tapes on that. That has and then the music that I have. There's also a little radio involved. And it's got uh, El, uh, got my music that I like, uh, the Beach Boys, of course. Uh, Elvis Presley, The Four Seasons, Neil Diamond, uh, CCR, and um, oh, CCR, what's the other one? I got one. Four Seasons, of course along with uh, Luciano Pavarotti and, of course, the man himself, Frank Sinatra. That's what I travel with. I've got it saved on my computer in case anything happens to it because it's got so much. I can't believe this thing's got so much stuff on it. And I, I was at the airport, folks, and I lost it. But on the back of it, it says this was from the kids. We were a, I spent five, four or five weeks down in Florida at a very, very special resort. Uh, what was that called? It was... Uh, I think it was Dr. Mark's uh, Villa is what it was called. I think that's what it was there in Longboat Key. Anyway, uh, on the back of it, it says to Larry, live, laugh, and love. And I lost it. And I heard the, the speaker say, is Larry out there who's lost his iPhone or whatever this thing was? I can't think, think of what they call it. Uh, you know, doggone it, whatever it was. The uh, anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. But I, I listen to that. Uh, tr I try to every day, especially when I'm traveling. I don't travel without it because it uh, it's all the stuff that I like, and I like uh, Tony Robbins because I I knew him and met him personally several times long before he was famous. You know, that's uh, that's really good. And someone just asked me if I knew Frank Sinatra. I uh, know, but you know, he didn't know me. He sat behind me. I was, he was, excuse me, he was right in front of me during the Dodger game in October of 1986 when Kirk Gibson hit that home run. And uh, it was unbelievable because uh, everybody stayed in their seats. They had to flash the lights at Dodger Stadium to get people to leave. It was so, so emotional. I mean, it really was. It was uh, really spectacular. If you want to see it, go on to YouTube. It's, it's just about everywhere. And the bad part is that uh, Kirk Gibson is having a lot of trouble. Uh, physically, he has some uh, neurological ailments that's giving him a great deal of trouble. Let's get back to the markets. Nobody wants to hear all this stuff unless they, they uh, are listening to, you know, another program and stuff. But let's take a look at a couple of charts that I that I think are, are for, very important. Not like we have already done the hogs and things like that, but one we've got to keep our eye on. And this is the one Jim Barleone has been talking about for quite some time. And that is this natural gas contract. Now, we got crude oil really strong today. Let's move this up here. And, uh, but this is natural gas, okay? And you'll see there's uh, what we're watching, uh, you know, right here. So uh, we're waiting for uh, some type of a pattern in here. Right now, there's nothing here. Like right here, you've got a little three drive and a couple of ABCDs up here. But, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. But we don't have that yet in the uh, natural gas we're waiting for that and that's what you know trading is about it's about waiting for some of this stuff to actually happen so 
I think that's why it's so uh, very, very important. The natural, the the things that we were watching today, as uh, far as uh, the uh, hogs, uh, heating oil and stuff like that. I, I we mentioned this uh, in the video that we sent out last night that we were sitting here uh, last Sunday. Uh, that was last Sunday. This Sunday. And it would, let's take a, just look at heating oil because he, uh, the, the uh, same pattern was in crude. But you can see here that the perfect A, B, C, D down. I mean, that's just uh, absolute perfect A, B, C because you have the A, B leg and bars the same as the C, D leg. Just coming in exactly, hit it to the exact point here within, I think, about 50 cents. And, you know, that's, that's, that's about $105. And then it has the big move up here. But look at the 135 pattern right here. And the thing to talk about was once it went above that, because we hit it and then backed off, and then we went charging through it later today, and that changed the you know the whole structure of the market. Now, Mike Moore from Moore Analytics will be on with us Thursday, and he'll be talking to us about you know the energies. He's really good at that. He's been nailing this thing pretty good. So we're going to have him on uh, to tell us what we're looking at. But that's the one that we were watching. Since we're talking about that, I think we should probably also – you know, look at the crude oil because crude oil was doing uh, something uh, almost exactly the same. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at it. This was an easy peasy one, as they say in the trade. And now you'll see what I mean here because the market opened higher than this, came back and touched it one time, and then it was off to the races. Believe it or not, that was one heck of a move. And so now we're going to make on this, you'll see we're going to be making an A, a B, a C, and a D, and the D B up here, around 73 or 74, 73, 73 dollars a barrel is what we'll be watching on this. This is a four-hour chart. You can see all the 382 retracements on the way down. I mean, there was nailing in one, two, three, and those are the ones. And then we get down to this level. That was a big A B C D on the daily. As you saw on the heating oil, same thing happened to crude oil, and that's why it's so very, very important uh, to look at it. All right. Now, uh, well, time's running out here on the first happiness of the show. On the show to, uh, following today, uh, the Trade What You See segment two, we're going to be looking at bank stocks and some of the key stocks that are out there. We're also going to be looking at natural gas to find out where would be the best place for a possible long-term trade in natural gas. Uh, that's what we're trying to find. So we're going to be watching natural gas, and we're also going to be looking at some of these bank stocks, because that's the key, folks, because if these bank stocks take off, they're going to drag the rest of the market with us. I mean, that's uh, you know that's going to be real interesting, because you know the, the fear that was out there has now been alleviated, because Secretary Yellen said there will be no bank failures, and all the banks that have all their money in, and she retracted her statement saying, we're not going to bail the banks out, which they've already done. So that's going to be a real interesting you know, thing to take a look at. Very, very important. Also, uh, someone asked a question uh, about the wheat market. And I think uh, we can do that wheat without too much trouble here. We're over in July wheat now. If you'll remember, we spent a lot of time on this bottom right here. And this market is another one that has been extremely strong here these last few days. Uh, this was the you know that big A B C D went through the we went through the logistics of us so much that this move right here was exactly the same as the move that we're having right here. Now this is the mini move right here, but the big part of this is this. These market the, these were doing exactly the same thing with A B C D here as we were with this A B C D right to there, and we said that was the bottom. And if you looked at the long term weekly on this. That's what you're looking at. Look at the high up here, folks, the three drive to a top pattern when everybody wanted the wheat and it was limit up. Hello, operator. Now it's half price and nobody wants it. Duh. That's why you got to think in terms of what the market's doing, not what people are trying to tell you, folks. I'll, I, well, we got to we got to end of the show here. When, when you come back, I want to tell you the most um, uh, the story about what what changed me. Well, there was a whole bunch of them along the way, but the one that changed me the most was my, uh, my. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's a long time ago, 1976, as a matter of fact. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the soybean meal just showing you the 382s over the past month or so on the way down. But I wanted to try to explain to you what happened to me in July of 1976. Uh, I had uh, been working for the past year or so studying the markets and stuff. And uh, one of my mentors, uh, uh, Jim uh, Oscar McClure and then also Dave Nelson were very, very bullish on soybeans. They were fundamentalists, and all I was doing was what, what, reading the Gartley book, and I found this Gartley pattern, and uh, it said, gosh, this is where it should stop going. X, A, B, C, D was uh, making a beautiful bottom, and the whole world was bearish. Nobody liked it. And, uh, you know, and they, they were doing spreads where you buy July, sell November. And these spreads were selling at a maximum premium because interest rates were so high. So you could put that spread on for like $150. And, uh, you know, you, they would go up. Anyway, they only got a minute here to go. But what happened was uh, I bought a bunch of those. And everybody that would listen to me uh, opened an account at the brokerage firm, Lynn Waldock. It was just starting out. And so we had about 31 accounts and a lot of contracts. Some people had, you know, large accounts. So the people only had four or five contracts. But uh, these things took off. They ran like heck. And uh, it was about a year later, uh, nine months or so, we got into July. The report came out, and it was at the top of the market. And the report was so bullish, the Reuters machine said, they're probably the only soybeans left will be in the Smithsonian. I had it on the Reuters in front of me. And I didn't save that paper. 
when you're young, you forget. I was only 35, 36, and, uh, you know, I'm saying, well, 38. But anyway, that I, I should have kept that because that's actually what the, the thing came. I asked Reuters. He said, we don't keep that stuff, especially, you know, back in those days because they didn't have the computer stuff that they have now. But that's what it said. The only, the only soybeans will be in a, well, that was the top. The market uh, rolled over, and that was it. Hey, see you in a few hours. Oh, one more hour to go. We'll talk some more about some of the experiences that I had, some of the bad ones and some of the good ones. 877-927-6648. 877-927-6648. 